Fema and report with the Oklahoman. Uh, earlier today, you said that Russell Westbrook, uh, he's an attack guard. He, 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 it's hard to stop when he's attacking, but does the same apply for him on defense that he attacked you on defense tonight? He had seven steals. Uh, how did he attack you guys defensively? Well, he's, uh, he's probably the quickest guard in the league in terms of uh, getting his hands on loose balls, long rebounds, uh, you know, getting his hand in on a steal or whatever. And uh, there were several key ones in the second half when we kind of lost our, our momentum. Uh, careless passes, you know, uh, didn't have the, uh, the flow to the whatever set we were running. And I thought when we lost our aggressiveness and our momentum offensively, a lot of that had to do with, uh, with his his uh, speed and aggressiveness. You can tell how he's has a little bit off of that. In fourth quarter, he scored 14 points. Was it stagnation? Was it too many quick shots? What, what did you think was the main problem? A lot of quick shots. Way too many quick shots. You know, five minutes left in the game, and we've you know we're down four or whatever, and we're we were acting like we were we had 20 seconds left. Five minutes is an eternity, and um, we have to we know how we have to play. We have to pass and move and. and create rhythm um, for ourselves with our screening and our cutting. And I just felt like we took t way too many quick ones uh, that took us out of our, our rhythm. Dean Blevins, CBS Oklahoma City, kind of along that same line. Steph got one up quick on your next to last possession. Is that kind of the same thinking there? I'm going to have to watch the tape to remember exactly which one you're talking about. It, 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 I don't think it was anything in the last. We're down four. Yeah. 12 to go. Uh, it wasn't so much what happened in the last minute. It was what happened uh, really throughout most of the second half. Um, just, uh, you know, quick shots and uh, tough shots. And, uh, and give their, their defense credit. They were, they were really good. Scott Howard Cooper from NBA.com. Were those quick shots a matter of you guys losing your composure? And, and how surprised would you be at something like that? Did Oklahoma City play with greater composure in the second half and the fourth quarter in particular? Well, I do think that um, we lost our, our poise a little bit, um, and that was uh, that had a lot to do with the quick shots. I think we were trying to trying to rectify um, a, a situation in one or two plays instead of let it, letting it play out. So, um, you know, that's something we've got to, got to get better with. Steve, on Frederick from the Chronicles, you talked a lot about their rebounding going into this game, and you guys had a slight edge in the first half, but second half, I think they out rebounded you yeah. by 10. Did you not do something well in the second half, or is that them just wearing you guys down with their size? Well, we were battling. You know, we were battling, and, and uh, maybe some of the balls that bounced our way in the first half uh, didn't in the second. Um, they're probably going to win the rebounding battle. Um, we feel like we've got to stay close. Um, we did a good job in the first half. The turnovers uh, in the second half were a bigger deal to me. Um, they're going to get some offensive boards, but uh, I think we had eight turnovers in the second half. Um, many of them were, were just kind of out of whack offensively, um, and um, that cost us our momentum and kind of the, the rhythm that we had built in the first half. Uh, Coach Curry, you did mention aggressive, and just a moment ago, uh, momentum. Was that the same thing that was going on with your bench because they only scored, what, 16 points when they normally score about 40 points? Uh, yeah, so the game just didn't uh, didn't go their way. You know, it's not always points that we look for uh, from the bench, but, um, you know, it was, uh, it was a tough game for, for our whole team. And uh, whether it was starters or bench or whoever, whatever combination was out there, we had some, some good moments in the first half, but we lost that in the second. Steve, uh, Bill Barber, Press Democrat. You went small quite a bit in that game. Did any of that have to do with Andrew not being 100% or was that just a strategic thing? Every game's different and we're just looking for an advantage and looking for a matchup. Um, and um, that could totally change next game. We just have to get a feel for what's happening. Brian Brinkley, KFOR, NBC, Oklahoma City. Coach, they had 10 turnovers in the first half, just two in the second half. How much did you think that was part of how your defense played in the second half? Well, I, I you know, I, I don't know if that was that we weren't as aggressive or they were just uh, better with the ball, probably a combination of both. But I do think that was uh, kind of the key key number on the stat sheet in the second half. Um, you know, eight turnovers for us, two for them. Um, you know, they're going to get some extra possessions on, uh, on the glass. And... Uh, 
we can't give them extra possessions with turnovers as well. Lowell Cone Press Democrat. Steve, before the game, I had asked you about first games, and you said the coach who loses the first game feels desperate. Your word. Do you? Sure. We're down 1 0 at home. So, yeah, we need to play better. So you can use whatever word you want, but we'd like we'd like to win game two. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Fred Katz, Norman Transcript. In uh, the first half, you guys were getting out running. You you seemed to get a lot of fast break points. In the second half, that that kind of stalled. Were they doing something that that kind of pushed you? Or you we not we, really we kept points? fouling them. That was the problem in the third quarter. We fouled so much. I don't know how many free throws they shot in the third quarter. It seemed like 14, 15. Um, and so now we're bringing the ball up the floor every time uh, against a set defense, and, and they're they're getting points at the line. So, you know, if you look at the free throws, you know, they, that's really the difference in the game: 22 to 11 on the in terms of makes, 32 17. And some of that was at the end of the game we had to foul. But um, I think uh, we have to be able to defend without fouling, and we've, we've fouled too much. Tim McMahon, ESPN.com. Uh, what explanation did you get for Westbrook not being called for a walk right in front of you there in the last minute? Uh, I didn't. I didn't talk to to the refs about it. I, I I thought he walked, but it wasn't called. So that's that's the way it goes. Shannon from Tencent, coach. Uh, before the game, you were talking about the the combination. You were looking for the combination uh, between the big guys. And then after the whole game, did you find a great combination? Well, uh, we need to find better combinations. Uh, we didn't. We didn't play well enough. Uh, as a team you know, to, to get it done. So we'll have to we'll have to figure that out. Steve, Ian Killian with the San Francisco Chronicles. Steph had seven turnovers. Did you feel like he was trying to do too much? I thought uh, in the first half he was careless with the ball. You, you can't um, you can't throw the ball over the top of these guys. Too. They're a very long-limbed team. He had a couple of those in the first half. Um, and. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's an adjustment for sure. To uh, when you, you know, every team is is different, and uh, you know, Oklahoma City is a lot different from Portland. Portland was a lot different from Houston, so you have to adapt uh, accordingly with each opponent. And uh, I'm sure uh, I'm sure we'll make the adjustments and we'll take better care of the ball. Steve, this is the first time you're trailing in a, in a series this season. You trailed a couple last season. Do you, do you want your players, whatever the word is, desperate or whatever, do you want them to feel that, or do you want them to say, okay, we, we've been through this before? Well, um, we all, we're down 1-0, so it's a long series. Um, our players know that uh, to, to win the next one, you know, would be would be good. <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah, okay. So we don't want to go down 2 0. So I don't need to tell our players, hey, get desperate because we got to win game two. They feel it. And uh, so we'll come out and play better. Last one in back. Coach Steve Victor, KCBS. Do you feel as if your players may have been adversely affected by the long layoff? No. Case, no? No. I don't think that had anything, anything to do with it. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Billy Donovan will be here in a couple minutes.